welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Kempers. I am a freelance web developer and a writer. This is Luna. <laughs> it is currently Wednesday, July 5th. I've done a little bit of my web development work this morning. I have a couple more hours to do, um, but I am about to head out to a cafe with Luna. We're gonna go sit on a patio somewhere for a couple hours or however long Luna feels like it because I don't actually know how long she'll want to just like sit on a patio, but it is day five of Camp NaNoWriMo and I would like to hit honestly around 2,000 words today. The reason I think I'll be able to do that very easily is because um, today I'm going to transfer over some words from a previous draft so it's kind of just edited words instead of drafted words like instead of brand new words which I find far easier to hit big word counts when I'm counting edited words because I'm not writing a bunch of new words. I'm just going through and editing or revising. Anyways, it's supposed to be 30 degrees today. There's no AC at the house that I live. So we're gonna go to a cafe, maybe get an iced coffee, um, something cold, and we're gonna do a little bit of writing and also a little bit of web development work. I'm having the kind of day where I feel like I, I need to follow what I feel like doing in order to be as productive as possible. Basically, I have a couple author clients, and then I have my agency client, and then I have my writing. Is that it? Yeah. So out of those three things, I am basically just going to start with whichever one I feel most motivated to do at that moment in time, and then I think I'm going to limit the amount of time that I spend on whichever thing it is to an hour, and then give myself a chance to like reconsider and see if I want to switch to something else. This is a weird strategy. I don't usually do this, um, but I'm gonna try um, at the recommendation or suggestion of my therapist to try and follow my motivation and try and see if I can be productive based on what I actually feel like doing rather than forcing myself to do something I don't feel like doing. We're gonna see how it goes. It sounds like it could be chaos, but if it's productive chaos, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> Been up since 5 30. Am I feeling it? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. It's nearly 9 30. I have a meeting at 9 30. Um, I woke up, I did a bit of yoga, and then I immediately went to a cafe just because I could tell that I was tired, but I've been trying to wake up earlier. And I was like, if I let myself like relax or if I keep myself at home right now, I am not, I'm just gonna go back to sleep. So got myself up, went to a cafe. The nice thing about waking up at 5.30 in the morning is that I have already done like three hours of work, maybe three and a half. Um, and now I'm about to hop into meetings for like another hour or so, which means that I'm gonna have approximately two hours left of work to do today. So the meetings should finish in an hour to an hour and a half-ish and then I'll also be working between the meetings just to try and get work done. So basically, all of the work for this agency client should be done shortly after noon, I think, before one at least. So I think my plan, because I know I'm exhausted, is I'm going to get through these meetings, get as much of this client work done as I possibly can so that I can try and finish it off before noon. There is a chance that I'll be able to do that, but I don't know. It kind of depends on the meetings and what I'm able to get done. Then I'm gonna allow myself to take a power nap. We're not gonna sleep for more than half an hour. That's it, I just need like a little boost. 
and then I'm gonna get up and make lunch and do an hour or so of kind of like admin work as well as checking in and like doing a little bit of work here and there for some of my personal clients. Once that's done, the rest of the day is for writing. It's been another chaotic week. I will say I'm still feeling better each week. I feel a little bit better and a little bit more like I have my shit together, but this week has also been a tiny bit hectic. So, so I'm gonna jump on my first meeting in five minutes or so and just see what we can get done, see if we can catch up on the NaNoWriMo goal. I think today I honestly might start moving a bunch of the scenes over that I said I was gonna repeat from like previous drafts and kind of just needed to edit. Um, I might start with those honestly, just for the sake of like having an easy win, I guess, because if I move over like three scenes, that could be anywhere from like 4,000 to 10,000 words for me, depending on the scenes, um, which would obviously be a massive boost to my Camp NaNoWriMo goal um, or progress so far. So I might do that just to like get that little boost and encourage myself and then I'll get into drafting the new words that I need to. Anyways, <laughs> we'll see how this day goes. <laughs> arrived at the cafe. Luna is like trying to become best friends with every single dog that passes. I feel like I'm gonna last here for like maybe two hours. I'm just waiting for my video to upload and I have a couple edits to do and I want to write a little bit and then I think Luna and I are gonna go to a dog park because it's toasty and I feel like she needs to like get her energy out so maybe we'll go to the dog park at the beach so that she has water to play in but yeah that's where we're at. As you can see, I dyed my hair yesterday. <laughs> I was gonna give it a trim anyways, and I kind of felt like, I don't know, changing up the color a little bit, maybe going a little darker, but like more of a warm tone dark rather than a cool tone dark, which is what I did last summer. So it's a little bit shorter now. It's also like I just dyed it last night. So probably by the end of the week, it'll be a bit more faded. So it'll be a bit lighter than it currently is, but it has, I don't know if you can tell, it has a bit of like an orange tone. It is currently Monday, July 10th. I did. I wrote over a thousand words yesterday. I think I wrote like a thousand and ten or something. Then I went out and I met up with a friend. I went to a hoop lab and then I also met up with another friend that I'm actually going to be co-writing something with, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's a different format than what I usually write. Um, but it is a format that I've experimented with before, so I'm so excited about that. I'm sure at some point I'll kind of let you guys in on that, but it's all in very early stages and we're still like chatting about the project. But then I came home, I grabbed some groceries, I worked in the garden a bit, and then I kind of just hung out with my roommates. So I ended up not writing again yesterday, but I'm still very happy with the thousand words that I did get. 
One thing that I've mentioned multiple times throughout this vlog is that I've wanted to basically add a whole bunch of words by transferring over some of those scenes that I'm going to reuse from previous drafts. And the reason that I keep saying it and not actually doing it is because I'll prioritize that and then I'll start to try to do it and I run into this thing where I'm just having a hard time deciding where I want to put those scenes and how much of them I actually want to move over and the whole process of moving scenes from an old draft to a new one is just proving to be a bit more complex than I kind of anticipated. So I have been slightly struggling with that but I was thinking about um, the kind of outline that I currently have for draft three right now um, and I was thinking last night that I have a couple other things that I want to change that have to do with the ending of this first book and also with like the overall plot of the series. So I think I'm going to take some time, sit down right now and do a little bit of um, like plot adjustment based on that change that I was thinking of making. And then I'm kind of going to see how I feel about that. And I'm also going to do maybe one or two writing sprints of about 20 minutes to try and hit a thousand words for the day at least, since I still have new words that I can be drafting at um, the beginning of the book in Act 1 that um, the kind of replotting bit that I'm doing is not going to affect those words anyways, so I can definitely still work on those. So I'm going to try and get those words in, I'm going to try and do a little bit of replotting and kind of see how I feel about this new idea, um, and then honestly I'm probably gonna clean my room because it really needs it. <laughs> those days and I feel like a big it has to like I'm sure a big part of it is the fact that I'm a week out from my period I feel like story of my life I'm really over the whole monthly cycle thing so so far today I've written nearly 600 words I still would like to hit a thousand I just haven't yet right now I'm actually gonna clean my room um it's just like I'm also just so hot. I feel like when I was younger I used to love the heat. Like as soon as it was summer I was so stoked that it was summer and that it would be sunny and warm. And now I feel like my body runs a lot hotter than it used to when I was younger and I'm just tired of the heat. Honestly it makes me so exhausted. I feel like I can't get anything done during the daytime unless I like leave my house and go somewhere that has AC. Which is frustrating because I'm not always productive like at cafes and stuff but also if it's super hot inside I'm probably not going to be productive in my room so it's an ongoing battle but I feel like moving around a bit I am going to clean up my room I'm also going to put up a shelf that I got um, a couple weeks ago I was actually trying to find like one of those floating shelves for the wall just to kind of like put it in a an area of my room that I feel like could use more like I could fill in some of the space on the wall and I was kind of struggling to find one. I didn't want to buy one so I kind of just like left it. Not a big deal. And then I was biking home today through one of the alleys and someone was giving one away for free. They just like left it out for someone to pick up basically and I saw it and I was like this is perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to put that up and put a couple things on it, clean my room, potentially do a face mask. I bought this and I was going to do it last night and I just didn't get the chance to. So we're going to do that. I think I might do that while I listen to like a fantasy playlist on Spotify or something to see if I can get some like inspiration from writing and then we'll kind of just see how that goes.
did not end up hitting a thousand yesterday. I'm not upset about it. I still have gotten words in. Um, and I think a reason that also I'm struggling a little bit is because I think I could have been more prepared. This is like a recurring theme at this point is that I could probably always be more prepared going into it, but I don't want to like swing too far the other way and then over prepare myself to the point where I'm not actually getting started because I'm just over preparing and spending all my time doing that. But these past few days I've definitely felt like rather than trying to just like push through the words, I need to instead um, do like another little mini plan for the next few chapters at least and also figure out another thing that's happening at the end of the book before kind of trying to like get through all those words again. So that's where we're at, but I'm gonna end the vlog here because this one has gone on for almost a week now and I kind of want to start a new one. So I hope that you have all enjoyed the Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs so far. I know they're chaotic and all over the place, but I'm feeling pretty good about them considering I'm. this is kind of like me getting back into writing after finally feeling settled after all of the life changes. So I'm not necessarily disappointed in myself. I just know that it's it's a bit of a rocky start and that's okay. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to smile and I will see you in the next one. Bye.